hi guys this is ronit and in this lesson we are going to deep dive into exactly how the internet works it's a very high level conceptual overview because every day we use google web surfing facebook scrolling web search youtube viewing youtube videos etc and take it for granted without knowing anything that how it works in the background so before we start developing apps and websites for other people to access through the internet we must understand the fundamentals of how all of this works right so what exactly is the internet most of the people think it's a cloud and it hangs around <laughs> it's hang above us into the sky and super complex thing and not easy to understand but it's not it's not actually a super complex thing it's very easy to understand internet is just a long piece of wire which connects every computer every mobile phone every gadgets which can access internet all over the world and there are some wireless connections also like wi-fi the cable which plugs into the wi-fi router internet comes through the wire to the router you might have a computer in delhi and your friend has a computer in washington dc america and they can talk to each other via the long wire which is called internet and data is also transferred through the long wire which is made of power wire and fiber optics cables some of these computers have very special jobs which are attached to the internet they have to be online 24 into 7 when you visit a website their job is to serve you all the data you require because they serve all the data all the files you require always 24 into 7 they are called servers and you me who are accessing the internet our gadgets like pc or mobile phone they are called clients because we do not require to be connected 24 into 7 to serve any files or web pages you can imagine a web server is like a giant library where you can go 24 into 7 whenever you require you may want to see the google home page or scroll the facebook feeds you go to the library and request that and that librarian serves you all you can imagine there is a giant library which houses all of the websites in the world and it will be super difficult to serve you all the files you need within milliseconds because it will be difficult to locate those files so how we have solved the problem well let's say you are sitting on a computer you are sitting on a desk with a computer and you want to access the google home page then what will you do you will go to the access bar and type https colon double slash www.gogle.com google.com and click ok or press enter because you want to search something on google what happens in the background your computer sends a message to the isp what is isp isp is the internet service provider like geo airtel alliance broadband bsnl or other internet providers when isp receives your message it sends the data into the dns server domain name system server what is domain name system server it's like a very big telephone book the domain name server compares your input and searches for the ip address of google.com when it finds that ip address 
it sends back to the isp and isp sends back to our pc now our pc have the exact ip address that it needs to access the google home page every single computer or server connected to the internet have an unique ip address what is ip address ip address is like a postal address it's a postal address for computers when my pc sends you some data then my pc obviously required the postal address or ip address of your pc that's very simple in this process my browser also saves the ip address of google.com in their cache memory the isp also saves the ip address into their cache memory and the dns server or domain name system server also saves the ip address into their cache memory for faster access now what happens your pc sends a request to that ip address to access the google home page and that request travels through the giant wires under the atlantic ocean to the usa google server then google server responds with a html css and javascript file and sends back to my pc through the internet backbone it's not some clever analogy that what is the internet backbone it's literally the internet backbone you can find it in the submarine cable map.com these are wires giant wires fiber optic cables suppose you are sitting at delhi and you are requesting to access facebook what will happen your request will travel through the internet backbone below the atlantic ocean to the us server of facebook and facebook server will respond you with the web page or the data you require and what your pc or your mobile need your pc or your mobile need the isp because every data travels through the isp or internet service provider without internet service provider you cannot access internet so once my pc have gotten the ip address of the website i want to access my pc or your pc sends a request through the isp and through the internet backbone to the server located at that ip address and what is the ip address of google.com let me tell you 142.250.193.78 type this ip address into your browsers and hit enter see what happens of course the google home page will load up all of this process happens in a matter of milliseconds now can you imagine how fast all of those actions take place one advanced tip if you are in a mac then open up your terminal and type ns lookup space google.com and hit enter see what you find you will find the server ip address of google.com or if you are in a pc then open the command prompt and type ns lookup space google.com see what you will find instead of google.com ns lookup space facebook.com and hit enter you will find the ip address of facebook server and you copy the ip address and paste it to the browser and hit enter you will find that the home page will open right away now if you have any questions then obviously comment below i will try to answer all of your questions and hit the subscribe button to stay tuned whenever i publish a new video or a new tutorial and hit the like button to appreciate my effort and one more thing don't forget to hit the bell icon because when i upload any new video you will be notified immediately thank you for staying with me